Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and are staying safe. In this video, we will be seeing how to make spritz cookies or butter cookies. It's absolutely okay if you do not have a cookie press. You can still bake these cookies if you just have a pastry bag or a piping bag. We need just six simple ingredients to prepare these butter cookies. And guess what? These all ingredients are already there in your kitchen right now. So let's quickly go ahead and see what are the ingredients required. So here I have one cup of unsalted butter at room temperature. Try and use a good quality butter. Next, I have 2 cups of sifted all-purpose flour or maida, half a cup of granulated sugar. This is the yolk of 2 large eggs, so 2 egg yolks at room temperature. Next we have vanilla essence about 1.5 teaspoon and then salt quarter teaspoon. Now let's prepare the dry ingredient for which Add the salt into the flour and mix gently. So here I've taken the butter in a bowl. So let's beat the butter for about two to three minutes until the butter is light, creamy and fluffy. Now let's add the sugar into the butter and let's continue beating it until both the sugar and the butter get well incorporated. Now is the time to add the egg yolk and the vanilla essence. Once done, let's continue beating them until well combined. Now let's add half the quantity of the flour into the butter mixture and let's beat this together. And then let's add the remaining half of the flour and continue beating it until everything gets well combined. Now let's scrape down the sides using a spatula and combine everything until it becomes a smooth dough. So now that our dough is ready, let's see how to shape the cookies using a piping bag or a pastry bag. So let's prepare the piping bag. Here I'm inserting a star nozzle into the piping bag and let's cut the tip of the piping bag and it's the time to fill the dough into the piping bag. So here I have a baking tray which I have lined with parchment paper. Next, I'm piping some dough underneath the parchment paper so as to keep the parchment paper intact. Now let's start piping the rosettes. I've also tried piping some heart shapes and some flowers. Here I have a bowl of water which I'll use to smooth the edges of the cookies. Once done, we'll pop this tray into the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes before we bake it. In the meanwhile, let's see how to shape the cookies using a cookie press. So this is a cookie press which comes along with different decorating plates. Let's see how to assemble the cookie press. Unscrew the bottom ring and place one of the decorating plates in it. And then screw it back on to the cookie press like so. Now let's remove the top part by unscrewing it. Once done, let's start filling the dough into the barrel. Once we screw the top part onto the cookie press, let's start pressing the cookies. Trust me friends, I had loads of fun pressing these cookies. 
Try doing this with your kids. They will enjoy for sure. Now let's move on to the next fun part which is to decorate our cookies. Here I have taken some pineapple jam and melted in the microwave and filled it into a piping bag. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to pipe this in the center of the rosettes. You may use strawberry jam that will give an extra color to your cookies. I didn't have any and I didn't want to shop during this lockdown. Now we will pop this tray in a preheated oven and place it in the middle rack and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes or just until the edges of the cookies are light brown in color. So there you go, our cookies have baked and come out of the oven. So while they are still hot, let's sprinkle some powdered sugar or icing sugar over them. Now since these cookies are not very sweet cookies, so you can dust a generous amount of icing sugar over it. So when it comes to decorating these cookies, you can play around with your imagination. You can decorate them with candied cherries, nuts, colored sprinkles or colored sugar. You can even dip these cookies in melted chocolate. But I've tried and kept it simple today. So friends, I hope you will give this cookie a try if you liked watching this video of mine as much as I enjoyed making it. Please do give thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I'm very glad to have you here. Please do not leave without clicking on that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so as to stay updated of all the new videos which I post here. Until I see you all the next time, take care, be positive and eat healthy and eat homemade. Bye-bye.